Boone Gonzalez, and I've been covering UAP basketball for almost 20 years. I've called countless amazing plays, and I've been witness to many historic moments. Out of the university and the red There goes the second block by Larry Bonasierri, a basic one. Oh, it's it's right it's 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 for a three. Yeah. To go oh, home, oh, a bobble oh, oh. Desiderio for three. Alejandro, confident move. Still, there's a lot that remains untold. Ititira ko talaga yon. Kahit dalawa tatlo pa sila ititira ko yon. No, ngayon lang sa sabing ko talaga first time. No. Every game has a meaning, and every player has a story. And it's all driven by one thing. It's all about pride. It's about, all about honor. Pag narinig mo yung tugtug nila, yung init ng suporta. Welcome to School Spirit. Welcome back to the game. I'm Paolo De Rosario. We just watched a teaser for the upcoming premiere of School Spirit coming to the UAP Varsity Channel on December 4. I don't know about you, but seeing all those UAP legends gave me goosebumps. It's a good thing that we have the one and only, the voice of the UAP himself. Grabbing title na yun, the Idol. Gonzalez. <laughs> si Idol still along us, alongside us with uh, direct Enzo Marcos to tell us what School Spirit is all about. Welcome to the show, Derek. What's How are you doing? Guys? I'm good. All Thanks, right. Paul. Thanks, Diego. Thanks for having me. No, no, no. It's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, Boom, before we delve into all the details, what makes this show different? Because the Varsity Channel is all, right now, lately, it's been all about reliving the great historical moments in UAP history. But what makes this different? What adds to that? Oh, uh, that's a perfect question to start. Uh, when you watch the games, you know this very well, Paul, Diego, and Derek. There are layers in the you know in between games and there are layers to the stories of these athletes most of them untold some of them th throughout their careers they've never talked about so we watch the games on the uap varsity channel we reminisce we get nostalgic this is a great complement to whatever we're, we're going to watch or we've been watching because now you can you know, put in the in-betweens, kumbaga, because like, nagkakalaman yung, yung laro, lalo na because of this, these personal stories of not only the athletes that we got to talk to, but their teammates, because they talk about their teammates, about their coaches, about their childhood, and all of these other things. So, it's a great compliment to the games that we enjoy and love. Very exciting. Now, let's go to Direk Enzo. Could you share with us a little bit of the process when it comes to, you know, choosing who to interview and choosing what stories to tell, especially there's so many moments in the UAP that you can choose from. No, and you're absolutely right, Diego. There's, there's so many stories, there's so many years of, of legendary stories. So that process was actually quite difficult, but fun at the same time. So we had to, what we wanted to do was really cast a wide net and um, see stories from different generations. So we have everyone from Kai Dick, all the way down to Ren Ren and all the way down to your, your former teammate, Paul Desiderio. So it was, that was a fun process. All right, so, so to Boom, my idol Boom, of course, you've covered a lot <laughs> of these legends uh, all the way back and then up to my batch pa. So you've been covering the UAP for quite some time now. How did it feel to talk to all of them and of course, revisiting those days in school spirit? Uh, boom, na cover yeah, ba si do? Alan kay Dick? Yun na nga, sasabihin ko, teka lang. Kenneth Brendes, Alan Kaidi. Grabe. It's funny, when somebody says that, usually, you know, you'd, 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 I don't know, some people might get offended or get affected, but I actually find it a compliment that, that I, you know, covered, seen them grow, you know, uh, become friends with these uh, now legends, you know, Direct knows this a lot. One of my favorite parts is when we were setting up these meetings, Remember, these meetings were supposed to be face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. It because of COVID protocols, obviously. But when we were setting up these meetings, when the subject themselves say that they were looking forward to not only being interviewed and doing all of this and reminiscing, but to chat with me and the direct again, that's like the ultimate compliment that they're looking forward to the interview. So I feel great and I fe felt even better knowing that they, our subjects, we're looking forward to reminiscing and telling some major untold stories talaga. 
uh, for school spirit. Personally, though, I, I really, ex- I, I'm, I was really excited going into UAP College for Boom to really say my name. Wow, <laughs> wow! Now he says it regularly <laughs> dito <laughs> sa thank the you. game. Ayon. <laughs> yes, yes, I do know, but thank <laughs> you for that. Thank you for that. <laughs> but um, yeah, Derek Enzo, you're not. You always work with the UAP athletes. It's not a new thing for you. You've worked around the mm-hmm. people who have felt this uh, emotion and all of that. And it's hard to make a piece like this, a work like this, without actually being a fan. Do you have any favorite works uh, that you've collaborated with UAP athletes in the past that you feel helped you in your storytelling process Dito para sa school spirit? Well, Paul, um, yeah, you're right. Um, I've, I've been a fan of the game for... for for a very long time, and I've been fortunate enough to work with a bunch of the athletes of the UAP. Um, I think one of my favorite stories is working with um, Paul Lee on a, on a project for Nike, and with Slam, uh, we went to Tondo, and um, I just have to say that the experience was was was, some, was so amazing when we got there, just as soon as Paul got out of the car, it was just an aura. When people saw him get out of the car, it was just like, it was just like watching the Beatles get, um, come home, so it, that, that was one of my favorite moments. Absolutely, no. We're so glad to hear that. And again, can't wait to see your work in school spirit. And we're about to wrap up here. But Jago, you have a burning question here. Yep, actually, it's for Boom. On that note, Boom, could you give us a little taste from what fans can expect on December four, featuring, of course, the Rain Man Ren Ren Ritualo oh. to kick off the show. Well, there are things that you can look out for. Look out for the classic swag of Coach Ren Ren. Hindi talaga mawala eh. Yung 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 you're right. When I say that, I think that's in all positive, you know, positivity, because you see his confidence, his swagger, and his uh, wanting to be the man ever since. But also look out for a lot of the inside stories that might surprise you, things that you might you might not know about him, or misconceptions about certain things that we thought we knew that he will dispel in this episode. And that's just the first one of many many episodes. And Direct Enzo and our whole staff, production staff, did such an incredible job for all the episodes for School Spirit. We can't wait for everybody to see it. You know, right I now, can't wait to watch it. Yeah. 